It starts with a look, a concentrated focus. Born of intensity and sustained by an unyielding passion, contention for the top spot in the East brings familiar foes to the forefront. The confidence of Miami's big three appears unwavering, yet the source of Miami's volatile play remains an enigma. A victory tonight could clarify some questions. Chicago competes with the heart of a contender. With the return of their offensive soul, the Bulls are driven to capture the top spot. Tonight, one team looks to send a message that will echo through the weeks to come. The NBA on TNT, next. It is a heavyweight showdown in the Windy City. LeBron James in the heat trying to chase down the Bulls for the top seed in the Eastern Conference. Derrick Rose returns to the Chicago lineup tonight, as the tweet says, as the Bulls try to take a giant step toward clinching the best record in the East. That's my point. You just, I said, listen, they were more concerned about you. And Alonzo Mourning played fantastic. Yes, he never he got in the credit. But that's my point. Dwayne Wade played great, and he's a great player. But I'm saying they were more concerned about you. That's why Dwayne went crazy. But that's the only point I was trying to make. You well, can say that, Ben. You can say that. That's what I said. No, it is. You went around the bush. Yeah, he did. Uh, about Miami, uh, you know, Eric Spolster says, look, it's not, uh, it's not panic mode, anything no, like that. He said, you know, a signal. is being presented by State Farm in a matchup tonight of the two best teams in the East, LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and the Miami Heat facing Derrick Rose and the Chicago Bulls. The Bulls 44-14, the best record in the NBA. Three games in front of the Heat, who have been struggling recently and with the regular season winding down. The battle for playoff positioning for Miami, despite the recent problems, LeBron James continues his high-level play. He was named the Eastern Conference Player of the Week, and Eric Spolstra, as you mentioned, continues to change that rotation. It's now Udonis Haslam as the starting center instead of Joel Anthony or Rony Turiaf. As for Chicago, yes, another test for Derrick Rose, who's missed a total of 23 games. Luol Dang had that solid performance in the win over the Knicks here on Tuesday, 19 points, 10 rebounds, and Rip Hamilton showing signs with 20 points in 20 minutes this past Tuesday, 18 coming in the third quarter. The officiating crew, Derek Stafford, John Goble, and Brian Forte. And in talking with Miami head coach Eric Spolster earlier, he said, we're not in a panic mode despite splitting the last 10 games and losing the last two or three at home. Do you buy that? Well, I do remember. Halftime in Chicago. We'll take a quick break, and then it's on to Atlanta for the sprint halftime with Ernie Johnson, Kenny Smith, Charles Barkley, and Shaquille O'Neal. Possession game right now. They're getting more possessions than us, either off our turnovers or our second opportunities. It's going to be a grind, guys. We're going to score right now. It's a grind. Inside track. Lincoln. James. Here comes Rose. Rolls on the run. Rolls all the way. Rejected by James. It's a three on one. Wade around Hamilton and scoring. Well, they change that so quickly. You have a turnover, or they force a steal. They are out running, and that time they had four red jerseys at the offensive end of the floor. And it results in a turnover. Watch LeBron come from behind. Rose doesn't expect him to be there. He sees the jerseys in front of him at the other end of the floor. Wade with the little head fake and then the floater along the baseline. This is where they're so devastating. If they get out in transition, there's almost nothing you can do. And that's why you just can't turn the ball over against them. But tonight, the Bulls have 11 turnovers that have turned into 10 points. For the most part, they've done a nice job. Cuts it to a one-point lead. Watson now has eight points. Oh, look on. No foul call. Just a lot of 
contact. There's James. LeBron James. Things getting very physical. This started back in the first half. And LeBron James set that streak. It is the first screen. LeBron, look, a little bit of a shot. That's a, that's a foul. It is a foul. Bang all the way. He created that by driving the ball. Created a shot for his teammate on the opposite side of the floor. Kyle Corver coming off a standout game the other night. James draws the foul. And hits one of them. But LeBron James able to get him off despite the fact that he was hammered by Taj Gibson. Ball fake gets Gibson in the air, steps underneath him. A Wade-like move yeah. by LeBron James. And Tom Thibodeau was furious. Taj Gibson just lacking the discipline on that one possession. He's been so good all night, but you just can never jump at a pump fake from either. Giving Corver no space. Boozer, a bad shot. Had to get it. Had to get it off of the shot clock running down. And Wayne able to keep the balls down court. Miami back up by two. Great job of Wade holding the defender on his back. He let the ball go over his head before he went to get it. He knew that Watson had no chance of getting to it. The pitch ahead pass, look at him hold him off, over the head, and the finish by Wade. Wearing you down, and here we are, two minutes to go. Another tight one. Rose Dilly stole it. Wade able to hold on. A carry there by Wade, and somehow is able to score on a wild shot, banking it home. He shoot that lefty in the upset as he takes a timeout. Dwayne Wade doing it in his home city, scoring the last 10 points for Miami. Eric Spolster gave Wade that five-minute break at the end of the third and early in the fourth. He's the freshest of the Miami players, and they've gone to him exclusively here in the fourth quarter, and he's delivering. It's his job to break down the defense. He just hasn't been able any, to get anything to go. Top Thibodeau going defensive, offensive shuffle here. A sheet returns. Brewer is back. Wade losing Rose on a pick. Wade over a shoot. Here's James for three. Yes! Miami is back on top with 49 seconds to play in the fourth quarter. The Heat with an 83 81 lead. Director Renato Moore, statistician Brian Taylor. In a thriller here in Chicago in overtime, the Bulls beat the Heat 96-86. Coming up, the Mavs and Warriors. Let's go to Kevin Harlan in the Bay Area.